Hey, good morning and welcome to episode 4 of Rock Hunting USA. We weren't planning on filming yet, but um, we opened our account early today and found this very nice piece of petrified wood. You can see it's got a little bit of bark on this side. It's a little washed out over here and it's got the black and it's got the bark and it's got the, the grain going on down here. Uh, we also found a lucky piece of obsidian right away and another just small, kind of a regular piece. Um, but we're about to take a walk about 150 years into the past, maybe 200 years into the past. And I don't think anybody's been down here for a very long time. And if they have, they haven't been looking for petrified wood. So let's get going and let's see what happens. All right, I want to show you guys this. This is that one of those agates that I keep talking about that have the cream soda look about them. You see that? It's kind of really, really neat. I don't know if these things are really valuable or anything like that, but if you guys want to let me know, I know again, like I say all the time, the internet is full of experts, so if one of those experts want to step forward, I'd really appreciate that. Now in this same shot, we've got at least one piece of petrified wood right here. Let's check that out. It's small, but it's like it's got like that. It's kind of like got a grayness to it. And on this side, oh, do you see him? You see all those sparkles? Can you see those sparkles? How about that? Wow. They are really coming through in in, in uh, to the naked eye. But this side is a lot nicer than I thought picking it up. Now, if we look a little bit over to our left. I thought I saw a third piece, but I'm kind of losing it now. Well, let's just keep looking, and uh, if we find another piece, which I'm sure we will. Aliens! We found some aliens! This alien comes... I think this is actually on Jasper. Huh. And that yellow there, that's actually part of the rock. And so th this bubbling kind of seems quartzy we've got red on there we've got this i don't know it's like a pewter it's almost see-through right here it's translucent in, in a way and it's got these bubbles growing on top of it and i'm almost 100 percent sure that this is a piece of jasper because it has that waxy feel to it too this is a really unique find let's keep looking we're in a really really unique location today and I, I just can't wait to see what's ahead of us. All right, we just found that alien piece of rock right behind me. I turned around and on the wall is this thing. Um, well, I don't know what this plant is. I don't think it has any uh, anything that's going to spike me up here. So let's go for it. Oh, it's a little bigger than I thought, too. Look at that. Right on the outside. Black in here, completely carbonized. Red again on this side, a little divot there. You know, I hope this is a piece of wood. It certainly seems like it, and it feels like it. It has the feel and the look of it. Can you see that? You know, this has got to be very rare. They say that in Arizona they have all these crazy colors and stuff, and I've seen it. But they say that this black and this this color right here could be the rarest of them all. And there you're looking at it right now. Now, look at this. Right to our left, there's something that's like, I don't know, brownish. Oh, oh did you see the lizard? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of lizards out today. They're friendly, I hope. <laughs> okay, did you see that brown thing? It's really not looking like a piece of petrified wood now that I'm at this angle. We're going to pick it up and show it to the camera anyway. Oh, it's totally not. It's totally not. But it's it's like, this is what I was seeing. So I thought this was a little bit of a bark and totally agatized. But, it, I, you know, it is agatized, whatever it is. And you can clearly see those, like, mossy things in there. I don't really know how all that forms again, 
you know, maybe this is a piece of wood. Maybe I was quick to judge because this is looking kind of barky right here. Maybe it's completely taken over by whatever has agatized it. We'll have to take a closer look at this, but this is a pretty unique find anyway. We're working a wall that we worked the other day, and it's rained a couple times since we've been back into this area. We've already found a couple of things that were exposed during the rain that weren't exposed the other day, and now within three steps, we're going to find two small pieces and a medium, and the medium is really unique. This is the small piece. This small piece here has whatever that is going on on that side. Some brown, a little bit of orange. There's a couple sparklies in there. I wouldn't tell you there's, there's a lot. Oh, look at that. There's This would probably be a good one for your tumbler. Now, if we take a half a step over... Oh, there's an ant on it. You see the ant? He's crawling on it. Let's let him have his moment. Okay, he's off. Now, here's another small one. Look at how carbonized this one is. Yeah, there's a little bit of brown in there, but it is so smooth. It has been out here getting a little bit of sun, a little bit of carbon, and a little bit of sandblasting, natural sandblasting. Now, wait until you see this one that's over here to the left. couple steps and here it is you see that I know it looks like I placed it but I didn't oh there's the imprint right there in the ground but uh, I you know I don't know if a bird came by and gave that a present or what the story is with that but look at that seriously this is like it's polished already besides whatever this is and I should probably shouldn't be rubbing it I should probably lick it off don't you think Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Look at the bark on this side and the carbon and how agatized and mineralized all this is. It takes a long, long time to, to get like that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That really is. Let's keep looking. I, I, you know, I think the storms may have brought out more stuff. All right, while we were filming flowers down there in the valley, I came up and I walked on the hill, and I saw just this sticking out of the ground like this, and I thought, well, I'll just pick it up. It's no big deal. It's every other piece that we find, right? I was wrong, and I wish I wouldn't have picked it up until I had you guys with me. But look at this. This is beautiful. There's some pewter in here. It's very smooth again. Look at that red. A little bit of whatever that stuff is. I guess it's easily easy to come off if you know what you're doing really but anyway look oh can you see the sparkles they're not too prominent but they're there no more red on this side and in the bark look at the bottom look at that what color is that can you see that it's kind of like a deep maroon it's got a quartz i guess going on in there as well I'll tell you what, I'd be curious to see what this looks like cut in half. We're just a few feet over from where we were. Actually, we're just like one little washout over from where we were, and we found another little piece. Oh, wait. Oh, well, okay. Well, wasn't as big then as I thought. <laughs> but either way, it's still a really nice piece. There's, You know, there's a little bit of red in here. So there's some iron. I, You know... That is like a browner than it is a black. It's a really unique color, actually, for such a small piece. And, of course, we've got definitely petri petrified and mineralized bark on the back. And we can see the grains in this one. Very nice. Let's keep looking. Um, I have a feeling we're going to find another big one because there's a lot of big ones out today. All right, we've got to be really careful here. As you just saw, we're standing in caterpillar land. And I really don't want to squash it. But I did want to pick up this piece of wood and show it to you. Because look at that. Look at the bark. Can you see, can you see that? Oh, here's some sparkles now. 
Are those coming through? I bet they are. I don't know what kind of wood this is. Oh, we got some, I don't know, another knot on this side. This is another really nice piece as far as like, I mean, you just know it's petrified wood and there it sits. It's a nice display right there. And even on that side too. That's really nice. All right, good job, Caterpillar. Don't step on on the way out. Don't step on that cactus. We've got a couple of finds. We decided we we're gonna take a break here for a minute. I. Uh, and rehydrate. It's very important even though it's a cooler day in the desert. And look what we stumbled across right where we were going to take a break. Here's this thing. Don't really know what it is. It's got a really smooth but cool colors to it. And if you just move a little bit to our left as we're looking at this. Oh look at that. It's orange. It's white. And I'm I'm willing to bet there's some black in there too. Oh it's got a spider web around it. Let's go around the spider web. I believe this is a piece of palm wood. I'm not 100% on that. But boy, is that got something going on. You know, this is another one of those pieces. It's just been over time. This is not smooth by any means, but it is not rough either. It has texture and it feels just really nice. It, this feels like a, you know what? This feels like what they, what I've been starting to call pocket pieces. They say that um, petrified wood is good for your root and sacral chakras. And I've been putting these in my pocket the last few days just to see. I will check back in with you next episode. But I've been calling these pocket pieces. And uh, yeah, I think this is a perfect example of one. All right, we're still here right next to the... Well, we're, we're taking a break. So right here, here. And look at this piece of jasper. Another unique piece of jasper. It's very orange. It's got some red in it. It's got that darkness to it, but it's really smooth feeling. It's so smooth. I can't even, it's got like that waxy feeling that they say that um, jasper is known for. And this definitely, definitely has it. Very nice piece. We're going to take this one back with us. And we're back from lunch. While we were at lunch, kind of wandering around, we uh, I stumbled across some pieces and we marked them. We marked them with our trash. So as we go along, you see pieces of trash in the desert. It's not really trash, it's us. The first thing we marked is this piece here. I'm pretty sure it's a black piece of petrified wood. It certainly looks different than everything around it. Um, it's probably not, but boy, did it look like one from um, from above. But that's the back side of it. It's really nice and warm. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's obsidian, but it's not. Um, I don't think it's petrified wood. You? Anyway, so that was the furthest piece that we marked. Now let's work our way this way and find the next piece that we marked. And hopefully, where, where are you pointing? Hopefully the next piece that we marked is a little bit more successful than that piece. So here's a, somebody's water bottle. Oh my gosh, you left the water bottle in the desert. This is the very first piece I found um, while we were wandering around the tree. And again, if you remember before lunch, and it shouldn't be very hard to remember because uh, we'll edit out lunch. Look at this piece right here. I can tell you right now that this has got black and it's got orange, so it's got a lot of carbon in it. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Look how brown that is on this side. That's really nice. So smooth again, but it does have a wood feel to it. That's the, I guess what you would call a cross cut kind of by nature. There's that. You can see how porous it is, so I guess that's where the carbon and the minerals and whatever, they seep in and they just take over. The brown is what's left, apparently, of the original wood. And there's not much brown in there. It's mostly become carbon. All right, now let's go to our next piece, which is also not very far away. Uh, there it is. Somebody's trash bag is in the garbage. 
in the way. Oh my gosh, in the desert. Somebody left their trash. Let's see if it's somewhere, it's somewhere near the trash. I think. Is it under the trash? Oh no, it's right in front of the trash. There it is. Alright, look at this. Now, we got some black and I, and there's a little bit of white it's fading into. I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see some bark on the other side. And I'm completely wrong. <laughs> it's totally black over here. And here it, is, here it is. Here's the bark looking on the side here. Bark looking over here. Can you see that? That's really nice. Wow. So somebody, somebody took their time and cut this and prepared it for us about 100 million years ago. And we were lucky enough to find it today. Good job. Let's move to the next piece. And remember, this is all while we're eating lunch. Where is the next piece? It's somewhere around here. Somebody left their Gatorade bottle in the desert. Let's see what this Gatorade bottle was hiding. I don't know. Let's move the Gatorade bottle. And there it is, of course. It's falling on top of the Gatorade bottle. It is another piece of petrified wood. It's not super large, of course. It's very smooth. It's got some orange. Do you see those stripes in there? It's like pewter black. You know what this, I'm gonna call this piece, the Great Poupon. It, for some reason it has like, it looks like a Great Poupon over here, you know? When it's kind of unstirred and it's got that yellowish, deep yellow and uh, black. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's nice and smooth, but we still have more pieces that we found just while eating lunch. And there it is right there. There's the cap to the Gatorade bottle. Now, the cap to the Gatorade bottle is one thing. And before we pick it up, I'm gonna pick this up just because I see it. There it is. Look at the size of the difference. Let's move the Gatorade bottle cap here. That was marker look at this that's palm wood that is a nice thick piece of palm wood see you can see how the the fibers come together from that again so I'm standing about a mile above sea level and I'm holding a piece of palm wood now apparently they find palm wood again in like Turkey a whole tree is petrified we're not in Turkey. We're in the Albuquerque Basin in New Mexico Desert, a mile above sea level. And at some point, believe it or not, this was beside the ocean. And here's your proof right here. So we're going to search this ravine. Um, and you can see another Gatorade bottle up yonder. Let's go chase that down. Look at that on our way. It's brown. It's it's agatized like all up in here. It's got our nice smooth bark there, and you know it's hard to say, but I, this possibly could be a palm type wood because I see these these fibers in here. That's not necessarily mean it's palm, so let's not call it that. But it's pretty nice either this way. Let's keep going towards the uh, Gatorade bottle. Okay, here's the Gatorade bottle. Another couple steps. And, oh wow, wait. Before we even get to the Gatorade bottle, we've got a couple of things happening here. Come a little closer towards me. And we have a red piece right there. We have a, whatever this thing is. And we have that red thing. That red thing is not the piece of jasper, but that red thing is this piece of, oh, petrified wood. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. And 
it's really red on the outside. It's probably so happy that I picked it up because it wants some aloe. It's like, I'm so sunburned. And then on the underside, we've got the bark again, the pewter, a little bit of carbon, and a little bit of micro crystals in there. This, this has it all. Here's this weird thing. I swear, like when these were the bottom of the ocean, these were something. I don't know if these are part of the coral or not. Now, if we move up just a little bit more, we find another piece of petrified wood. Look at that. This is different colors than almost anything we've been coming across. We don't see a lot of this yellow e brown. No, we see enough of that. <laughs> but we don't see this yellowy brown with some black specks in it again. I don't know. I'm going to call this the Great Pecan Hill pretty soon. There's a cool commercial for that. Now, we still haven't even gotten to the Gatorade bottle yet. And there's still another piece. It's hidden only because we bent down and we've done a little bit of background work. Do I see one, possibly two more? And if you just back up the camera just a little bit, we've got one under here. Oops. Oh, look, did you see it hopping? It's a, it's a hopping piece. And if you back up just a little bit, I don't know, I might get tricked here. I don't think so. It doesn't feel all that wood deep, but it certainly looks wood deep. And we're still not even at the bottle here. And so the bottle rolled off. But if you look, can you see it? It's orange. It's got sparkles on it. And it's right there. See? Whoops. Let me fly over. It's right here. And can you see the sparkles? Oh, I was really hoping that was going to be really big. But there's the sparkles. Oh, my goodness. Micro crystal clusters and all that kind of stuff. Quartz clusters. Oh, that's... Okay, so this side definitely is rough feeling. This side has the micro quartzy stuff and orange. So it's iron and the black carbon. Very nice. We've made our way full circle and here's our last marker and it's covering this piece of petrified wood. Let's remove it. There's an ant in there. And here's the piece of petrified wood. It's not the biggest piece again. But I wanted to share it with you because it's so black and brown and I guess it's like pre-tumbled feeling. Let's see what else we can find in this area. But if you look over here to our right, that's the tree where we can't start from. So like I say, we've come full circle and just to let you guys know, we have picked up all our trash. Because it wasn't trash today, it was a marker. Let's go put this stuff in our bag and continue our search. Break over, I am mounted up, and we're going to go into, okay, so we came out of this ravine, and we're going to go into this one, to the left of that dead tree right in front of me. Might even go up towards that dead tree a little higher, but we're going to start by going there. To the left of this cactus farm right here, jeez oh whiz. Lots more cactus again. Lots of cactus today. You know, I think I see something interesting up there. But I guess I'm going to pass it up for the moment because I want to see if I can see from another angle. Sometimes when you see things from another angle, they're not exactly what you think they were from the front, the original angle.
Oh, there's something standing up. <clears throat> there's something standing up in front of me to my left. I think it's so tempting. I'm going to go straight to it, even though I have a feeling I'm getting fooled. The closer I get to it, it's just a piece of lava a rock right there. I'm sure you can see it by now. It's standing up like, you see how it's standing like that? I know it's in the shadow and I know it's a, a darker color, but that's how a lot of pieces of petrified wood are standing sometimes too. And I know I've said that like several times and I've barely proven it in any of these episodes, but trust me, it's true. Let's keep going. Is there something buried in the wall right here? It was buried in the wall, but it's not something that we really are interested in. Let's put it back. Well, let's keep going. I know there's a crystal looking thing right here. Should we pull it out and just take a look at it? I should, I, I say, let's, let's just do it. There it is. It's pretty neat. It's really not much of anything, but it's pretty neat. I like them. They catch my eye, that's for sure. Well, you got to keep looking. You know, sometimes you walk up into these and they're not that great. And sometimes you walk up into these things and they really have something either directly in them or on their side walls. And it's a really nice day. It's, I think it's actually the very first day of Balloon Fiesta uh, 2023. That's the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. And we're going to try to get at least some kind of footage of that later in the week to show you. But here's a piece of obsidian for now. Oh, there it is. All shiny it out. It's nice and warm, so I'm going to put it in my left palm. Well, let's keep going up this. I don't know. I haven't found anything yet, but that doesn't mean... That we're not going to. Actually, I said we were going to go try to maybe take a look by that, uh, by that tree. And this is probably our best chance to cut across. Oh, there's a lot of those cactuses out today. You see those? I don't know. Maybe they must be brand new or something. It must be their time of year to sprout because they're everywhere. Not everywhere, but there's a lot of them today. So I may have made the plan to come up by this tree. Thinking we were going to find some petrified wood. But right now, we are not. But we're going to keep going. Whoa. All right, that's where we were earlier, so let's not get too far over there. <coughs> Here's the hill in front of us. I see something. I don't think you can see it because of the angle, but I'm going to work my way up to it and see if I can show you what it looks like. It's still looking pretty good. It looks like it's kind of got some orange to it. You should be able to see it by now. Here's a, here's a, you see it? Here it is. That's really something. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if this is wood or not. It has, it could be, I guess, jasperized wood. This certainly, this right here feels like wood, right? Okay. 
That's established. But the rest of it has that, like, Jasper feel again. And then there's these things inside of it, too. They're like... Wait. Yeah, they're like quartzy in there. I just wanted to make sure before I, you know, quoted science by saying the, the proper word quartzy. But here you go. Yeah, not, this is very unique. I'm going to have to take another look at this again. Let's keep going. Thanks to this tree right here that for helping me stand up while we were looking for that on this hillside that was very useful I don't know exactly what tree used to belong to this vine but thanks looking up the hill. Oh, I see a piece right in front of me. Good thing I'm looking all over the place. Um, it's going to take a nice step or two to get to it, but we will get there. There it is. Oh, all right. I think I'm done slipping, sliding, and falling for the moment, and it should be right in front of us. Here it is. Nice. All right. It's very smooth again. I, don't, I mean, this side isn't the prettiest, I guess, but this side is really nice. It's smooth. It's got, well, it's got the barky stuff going on in there. Black, orange, brown. I bet you there's better. Not, not, I'm not telling you that this is the worst, but I'm just saying I bet you there's better. And if we just stand here looking at this all day, we're never going to find it. All right. Um. I think I should work my way down a bit. Oh, here's a piece. It's an inch or two. It's got dark brown. I see it. But I'm also looking around to see if there's anything else. There's another really weird uh, red thing right there. I think I'm going to pick that up too. Let's start with a really weird looking red thing. And let's just move straight over to the piece of wood. Ooh, this is a double banger, right? Black and brown, red and quartz. There it is. In all its glory. Really don't know what that is. It's just something a little bit different. This is a piece of petrified wood. And I'm going to tell you, if I was looking for pocket pieces today for some reason, again, I guess I found another one. Oh, here's another one. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's small, 
it's another inch or two like that, but it's got that good orange color to it. Oh, I guess I just shadowed it. Oh yeah, that's real small. Either way, it's got orange, brown, red, uh, the white bark. Oh, there you go. Nice on that side too. Black. Nice little piece. Just keep looking. I think we may have found something coming up hiding behind this tree here. Or I should see this little piece of grass. Let's clear our hands and see what we've got. Oh. Yeah, this is not a piece of petrified wood. This is a piece of whatever this is. It's got some quartz growing out the side of it right there. But there you go. Tricks you. Sometimes it looks like it has like a, a bark or like a wood grain, but it doesn't. I mean, yeah, it doesn't. See, there's the other half of it right there. So, broken half. Here's the inside. There's the other half of the inside. So that's what these things look like on the inside. Oh my goodness, it broke again. Let's take a fresh look at it. There's a fresh look. Look, that that red, that iron in the in, in the inside, it's pottery. Did you know that? It's pottery in the middle. Very neat. I don't know what that's going to do to me. Again, maybe maybe this is the episode I should really start trying to taste test this stuff. See, these things I thought were pretty neat too, but I'm guessing this is just a big piece of natural granite. I mean, oh my gosh. It's sharp. You know how I keep saying things are smooth? This is not smooth. This is, well it has black in it over here. I guess that's like an old algae. It almost looks like it even has like gold specks, but trust me, if this was gold, I don't think I would know it. I would hope I would know it, but this is probably that um, fool's gold. I can't remember the name of fool's gold right now. It's pyrite, I believe. If my... Um, Memory serves me correct. It's calling me from the back of my head. But um, there it is. Very strange looking piece. If you guys think this is really neat and can't believe that I'm about to throw this back down, let us know. All right, here's a piece that's laying next to that little rock. It's probably about two to three inches. It's black, it's brown. I can see it from here. I think you can see it from where you're sitting, standing, or otherwise watching this video. Let's pick it up. All right. Oh, very nice. Black. Oh, there's the bark. It's so resilient. There's the end. Look at it. It's black. It's got a wee little bit of brown in there. It's got the red. It's got this, this area that we're on today has a lot of carbon, uh, but it's mixed with a lot of iron, too. And that iron's coming through in a red color. It may be hard to see, but there it is right here, too. Very nice little piece. And again, it's so smooth. Wouldn't that be wild if, like, a million years later, this thing gave me um, a uh, splinter and I became Petrified Woodman or something? I don't even know what my powers would be. They would probably be like, Grow a leaf! <laughs> Earlier, I gave a big speech about how these pieces of petrified wood stand up and it's in, you know, it's very easy to tell and it's like the classic position. Well, here's a piece standing up right in front of us. It's not a trophy piece as far as size goes, but it is standing up in that classic position. Let's bend over and pick it up. I can tell you right now it's red. Oh, it's, it's actually it was deeper in the dirt than I thought it was. So it's, wow. Very nice. It's um, very smooth again. 
and it's red orange. It's got a real nice orange in it. And it's got black. So I guess the orange and the red are both iron. I don't know exactly why uh, one becomes red, one becomes orange right next to each other, but there it is. And this part was sticking in the ground. That was sticking out. That's what it looks like inside. See that? It's like a yellow orange. More orange than it is yellow. There's the red and the black. I guess there's a little brown in there too. And it's so good looking, my stomach growled. If you caught that on camera, I don't know. Or microphone. Anyway, this is a very nice piece. Let's keep looking. This is a really neat little hill. We actually aren't even barely anywhere. We um, we had this big plan of going way down into the valley a little further, and we have barely moved, and we found all this stuff so far today. But let's keep looking. Um, I just think we're just... This is such a nice area that it, we'd be foolish to not continue looking around. All right, earlier today... I threw down a, um, I don't know what that was, it broke open. It had a little bit of powdered iron in there that was like millions of years old. Now here's a different piece. It's cracked on its own. Let's open it up for the first time and see what it looks like on the inside. There it is. What is this? Is this a form of obsidian? Or is this something else? This is what it looks like on the outside. And this is what it looks like on the inside, naturally broke open. All right, we're gonna keep looking for other stuff that we wanna take with us, but I just wanted to show you and ask you what this was about. And I think right to my left, I think I see a really nice piece. Let's, let's stay active here. Oh, I don't think it is now. Darn it. It tricked me from a distance. It's not. I thought that was like something really old and wind, wind worn and it's just not. Oh my gosh, it's hiding so well that I had to have it pointed out to me. My gosh, it's so black that it just blends right in with the dirt, I guess. Um, we've seen a lot of black sand today, and black sand has a lot of iron in it. And apparently, it must have some carbon in it too, because that's, that's what they say makes these pieces black. Let's dig it out. Oh... All day they've been bigger than I thought, but today it, this one was exactly the, the, the length I thought. So this one has um, white, the white bark. It has the pewter color, a little bit of red, not too much. Look at that. And there's the inside. There's a cross cut, if you will. Let's see the cross cut on the other side. Oh, uh, not, so, not so easy to see. Very nice little piece, though. Okay, let's keep going. All right, we haven't moved... To we haven't moved very far, and actually, this is the next ravine over, and I already see our very first piece. Um, that's a cactus. This is not our very first piece on this ravine. But this orange thing in front of me, I believe, should be our very first piece. I don't know what time it is. I have a feeling we're battling the um, 12 o'clock noon train. But either way, let's pick this up and take a look at it. Is it really new? Oh, nice guess. There you go. Orange, tan, and there's definitely a carbon black interior because I can see through it. This is probably like a good five inches. Oh, what's it going on in here? You know what's going on in there? Nothing. Sand. The sand was creating that look. You know, I've got to say, so what we're finding today is really nice pieces, but we're not finding those like sparkling pieces that we found in episode, I believe it was episode three. 
I think these pieces are just, I mean, they're cool in their own different way, but they're so smooth. And I think we could keep looking because we didn't even get started in this little ravine and we've already found our first piece. Oh, I don't know. I think we're going to bend over and pick this up because it looks like it has like woodsy grain to it. But I have a feeling that I'm going to be tricked by a rock. Definitely tricked by a rock. I, in fact, I don't even know what I saw. There's lots of um, volcanic rock out today, too. Lots of it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is another one of those instances where you've got to be saying, why are you so quiet? The reason I'm so quiet is I'm looking around hoping to find something. In frame the entire time, there's a gorgeous piece of petrified wood right in front of me. And I'm going to pick it up right now. I can't even believe it. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Nice. You see that? completely agatized, mineralized the whole nine yards on this side and as we slowly turn it in case you didn't think uh, good old Dennis knew what he was talking about there's the bark I swear if it wasn't for the bark I think I, I wouldn't I, I would be confused and like what is going on half the time myself but there it is and there's the other side they don't even look like they belong to each other. I've just seen enough pieces of petrified wood that I know that this deep brown agatized look is what it looks like after millions and millions and millions of years. Can you imagine? And there you go. Now you get a chance to see it right here in the Albuquerque Basin in the New Mexico desert. Gorgeous. I was just telling uh, my buddy that we've been finding just enough stuff to keep us busy and right in front of us is just another like two to three inch piece but it's just enough to keep us busy right? Oh, oh man I'm not going to stretch that far again. Here it is. It's, again it's really smooth I guess it's just wind uh, wind smooth. You know, after all, well, this is, of course, a little bit sharper, but honestly, let me slow down. Red, pewter, black, bark. It's got it all going on. It's just very smooth again. That's what's so mind-boggling about today. So at the very beginning of this episode... I gave a, very, a big speech about, oh, we're going to go back, 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 back in time. Let me tell you something. Um, that train that came by at noon is basically signaling lunch. So um, that's what we're going to do next. I'm working my way to the lunch tree. And if I find anything else, we're going to pick it up. I'm just going to keep working this hill and see what we can find. A couple of things I thought were interesting weren't. I see something up here that may be, and it's not. Boy, I'm getting tricked all over the place all of a sudden. I do see something interesting from down here again um, because I didn't see the last couple things weren't so great as I got up to them. I'm not going to get my hopes up on this one but we're going to see what we can find on the way.
Oh, okay. Well, I think we have something here. It, this actually may be palm wood. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I see some orange and some... Uh, it's got some features. Let's just pick it up. Yeah. Well, the orange is more red when you pick it up and you look at it. Now, I was saying earlier that we didn't see many sparkles, but there they are. These micro, micro quartz crystals. They're there. I'm hoping they come up on the camera like they are in real life. What I was coming up here for was this. And this is definitely not what I was hoping for. See, I saw that and stuff and I thought, well, that might be some, some kind of bark. It's not. But this is. This is kind of nice. Glad we came up here. Let's just keep going. Oh, here's a small piece right here. Do you see that thing? It's kind of like it's got the pewter agate looking colors going on. This is a strange hill. This hill has produced some um, very agatized, mineralized pieces. Let's pick this one up. It's not big. Well, again, there you go. It's so smooth over here. It's a little bit... Well, it's so smooth. It's smooth there, too. And... Wow. Very nice. A <laughs> little meaty piece. Whatever. Won't stand up for us. It's the wind. But it's really, really pretty. It really is. Oops, let's take my shadow out of it. Let's look here real quick before I hear the lunch calling. Yep, we're going to look around in here, I think, after lunch. See what might be in that area. While we're up here, we might as well just take a, a quick gander. I don't know. I think it's Riverstone. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Right here. A little bigger than I thought, too. Oh, wow. I don't know. I mean, I know it's wood. I don't mean to say I don't know. I wanted to say palm wood, but I, I don't know. Again, it's just so smooth. I mean, it's been, I don't know how long it's been on the surface. Um, as you can hear, it's a little windier today. So you can imagine what a really windy day feels like for millions and millions and millions of years. Huh. Let's keep going. Well, let's keep going on our way to lunch. I'm going to have a cranky cranky buddy here. Small piece. Want to call those pocket pieces again? I don't know. It's up to you. But there it is. Oh, it's got one, one tiny micro quartz crystal in there. Let's keep going. Here's another piece right in front of us. I'm going to pick it up now. All right, well, these pieces aren't so big all of a sudden, but they're definitely really nice. See that? It's totally black, tan, red, pewter. I'm hesitant to call it white, bark. 
smooth bark on this side. I mean, this bark right here almost feels alive. But it's not. All right, looks like our friend the cactus has held a piece up for us. Uh, it looks like it's got those nice knotty curvature to the texture of this one. And I see a small piece right next to it. I'm going to grab the small piece. Oh, I see two more pieces right next to it. Uh, let's just make our way right from the original piece. Okay, well, here's the original piece. <laughs> right in front of the cactus. Look at that. Again, so smooth. We're getting a little bit of the micro crystals in there. This is what I was talking, I'm having a hard time describing. You see how it's so weavy? There's, that's, that's, you can see the little micro quartz. I hope you can see them inside there as well as I can see them up here. They're the micro quartz crystals. See those? Now, we're going to make our way just a little bit to the right. And we're going to pick up this pure white piece here, and here it is. This white piece has, well, a little bit, probably has some carbon inside of it. You know how I say they're smooth? I can't believe how smooth they are. This one has a little bit of a texture to it. Well, let's grab this other thing. Now, here's the thing. I thought we saw three pieces in a row, and as I've taken my half step to the right, I don't think it is. It's not. It's whatever this is. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to lunch. I swear. The closer I get, the, uh, the more stuff I'm finding, but I'm really close now. Um, and it's sitting right here. It's kind of half buried in the dirt. What's the odds? Do you think it's bigger than it looks or just its size? Well, a little bigger. Oh, there's a little bit more size to it. Wow. So, I don't know if, you, if this is coming through on camera or not. I don't think I've ever said the word pink and then not immediately corrected myself. But this has a very pink look to it. It's got the pewter, it's got the red, it's got some black, it's got bark on the outside, it's thicker than it looked, you know, when we first picked it up. And it's got a little bit of orange back here, so it's got some iron. But that pink. That's different. Wow, really nice. I think um, that pink means that we should really be eating lunch. There's a there's another sneaker, and by sneaker I don't mean a Jordan. It's hiding behind the the bush here. Let's pick it up. Oh, nice. It is really really smooth. This one. It's got a little bit of white in there again. Wow. This down here is like so smooth to the touch. This is a little bit rougher, more texture on this side. But this is another nice piece. That's really different right here. You don't see that every day either. I know I just said that about the pink, but having the clear, the clearer, almost pewtery, not even pewtery, but cl closer to whiter inside of the red is a unique combination. I promised to show you the lunch tree, and there it is. But I keep circling down and down and around because I keep finding stuff like you keep seeing. And yet, here is another one. Can you see it? It is brown and black and it's got the nice wood texture going on again. Let's bend down and pick it up and maybe we'll circle around eventually to the tree. Oh.
Oh yeah, nice triangular look to this one. Nice. Again, these are so smooth today. Like if there's a common feature with today, it's their smoothness. There's some black, there's some tan. This one's got some a little bit of micro crystals going on. Can you see them? They're really, really sparkly to my eye right now. Uh, it, we're just past noon. So this is probably like true noon, give or take. And by just past um, noon, I mean like no noonish in uh, Mountain Standard Time or Mountain Daylight Time, one of the two, whatever we're in. And um, But it's probably like getting closer to real noon right now because I don't see much shadow ab about myself either. And it, these sparkles are really coming through. All right, let's make our way back. Isn't it nice to start with this sure thing? And that's what we're starting with here. This is a sure. Oh, wow, nice. It's a little deeper than I thought. I thought this was just a little sliver. We usually just find little slivers that are hanging out on top. But look at that. This is a little bit deeper than a little sliver. It's got the bark on the bottom, bark on the side, and there it is. That's what it looks like on the inside. So when you see some of these white ones, and I'm not guaranteeing they all look like this, but that's what they look like on the inside, a lot of carbon. And, and you can barely tell when you're looking at the outside because they say the outside, I'm not quite sure on this, so don't take me to the bank, but um, I believe that the outside has a lot more like a quartzy, like a white. That's what makes it more white. Not, it doesn't make it necessarily shiny, but more of that type of mineral that gets in there and creates the white looking bark but sometimes that's what you have on the inside now let's take a look at this other piece over here because I'm not sure what this is like I said it's good to start with a sure thing and move to a not so sure thing and that's this right here I don't know I'm gonna say it's kind of probably not but Let's get it out of my shadow. But boy, it sure did look like something. Do you think we should leave it here? If this is something, uh, yell, because this is real close to the tree that we took lunch at. I'm going to file it right here next to another very small piece of petrified wood. Right here. There it is. Let's keep looking around here. We haven't even gone up the ravine that I was talking about going up yet. All right. And apparently we haven't gone anywhere and we've come across this. And this little piece of Jasper that is all red and orangey yellow inside this is so waxy feeling I feel like I could light it on fire as part of a candle of course all right this is not a piece of petrified wood but some things just look really unique like this we'll look at it over there but this thing here is a piece of concrete and usually we find them they're really small but if you can't, if you don't tell me that this looks like it came right off the bottom of the ocean, seriously, doesn't that look like like modern pieces of coral? Isn't that strange? I mean, it's just connecting to that, and I guess it's growing. Now, at the same time, we've got this unique piece of jasper. We've got a piece of hidden petrified wood right here. This is a little sliver of oh, oh, petrified wood. It's that jumping petrified wood over here. We've got two pieces of jumping petrified wood. And we've got this strange thing. Now, here's the really neat thing about this. That's what it looks like on the inside. Isn't that weird? Because... Oh, it's as smooth as can be on the outside. You really think it's something, but there's the inside. Well, let's keep looking. 
but we don't have to look very far. And here we go. What do you like better? I think it's this. I think it's that. All right. I've heard a legend. The king of the cactus lives in this area. Now there are some cactuses around here. There's some cactuses over here. There's some cactuses over there. But directly in front of me, I mean, I hope this is as cool looking up close as it is from a distance. Oh, wait, time out. Look at this piece of petrified wood. This is, you gotta keep your eyes open. You gotta keep your eyes open, folks. That is nice looking piece of petrified wood. And if nothing else, did we have the cactus to thank for us finding this piece of petrified wood. It is black. It has got some uh, orange in there. Wow, that's really deep iron. And it's got the carbon. And it's just a teaser. I'm really curious about that cactus. Let's go take a look at it. So I think this cactus is just getting the perfect angle of sun. It looks so dominating from a distance. And yeah, there it is. That is a view, huh? Look at you. You are the king of the cactus. Look at the size of his uh, or hers. Oh, look, there's a bug on it. Go on this side. The size of its roots are just impressive, huh? And after we take a look at that bug, look at the size of the fruits that are falling. This is a really beautiful, healthy cactus. For the desert, it's hard to be a healthy cactus like this. It's sitting in a, a dry river bed or a stream bed, and I would imagine it's been kind of active over the last couple of weeks. Uh, that being said, it also has a nice uh, location for sun. And if you look, if you look from the angle that we're at right here, in the back, you can see how the paddles come up here. You can kind of see how the paddles, and what I mean by the paddles, the flat ends here, you can see how they, they're facing the sun, how they're absorbing maximum sunlight. So this, this cactus has it going on. It really does. All right, well, this is something. And in order to determine what something is, we should get it out of the ground. Hmm. And you know what this something is? River rock. River rock. It's really smooth. It's really cool looking. There's a little bit of red in it. But ultimately, I'm pretty sure it's river rock. I don't think it's should be filed anywhere but right there. So every once in a while, you just grab stuff that looks interesting and out of place. Now, I didn't think at first that this was petrified wood because, well, it just didn't look like it. But sure enough, here we are again. We've got that chocolate, dark chocolate layer on the outside. And we've got this white chocolate layer in here, and then it goes into milk chocolate. And it's all covered by a white um, frosting, you know, this white. And uh, so, I am i don't know. Again, this is why you bend down and pick stuff up. This is really, really cool. And I see a very unique or a very uh, pattern, pattern from a lot of the wood in this area. Let's keep looking. Petrified it. Oh, wow. I petrified it good. Look at how scared stiff this piece is. <laughs> it's got a little bit of orange. This is like a really rugged piece. And I can tell you right now, I'm no expert. But I bet you, if you cut this like lengthwise or something, it would have that same 
white exterior, black exterior, I mean, oh, excuse me, white exterior with that black chocolatey, we were just talking about dark chocolate interior with a, probably a milk chocolate center. And the reason that is, is probably because that milk chocolate is the last of the wood and it's getting carbon eaten by the carbon that's inside that's what the black part is so there you go that's the dark chocolate if you want to think of it like that very nice let's keep going very petrified persistency pays off we have found our trophy we may have found two trophies within a, a couple feet but this is a trophy i have not even taken it out of the ground yet it is definitely a piece of petrified wood it may be a big piece of palm wood And there it is. It's dense. It's... Okay, that fell off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a very nice big piece of palm wood. Look at the inside of that. Oh, look. He's got some crystals or she's got some crystals under the bottom. This is three... 100 to 400 million years old. I'm going to tell you, this is dense. This is at least several pounds. Oh, can you see him? See him? Right in here. It's starting to get the micro crystals. Wow. All right. I was starting to think we weren't going to find any more trophies today. I thought, oh no, what's going to happen? But here we go. You know, this is why we walked up here. This is what we're looking for. And we totally went off plan today. But I think we are going to find even more. Let's stay off plan. Oh. Well, that didn't take very long. Look what came out of the same hole with it. Well, next to it, whatever. Um, get a little excited sometimes. It's orange. It's, got, it's barky. It's got the whole nine yards. I don't mean to cut this one a little bit short. But I see something to our left that is something that's got my attention, and I'm not sure what it is. Right here. Right there. I think that's a piece of wood, folks. I don't know. It has had my, my attention since I, since I picked up the palm wood, but whatever it is, certainly looks like wood it i think it is it's another piece i believe of wood and it's got the red in it it's really smooth it's really smooth it's really agatized it's really ironized and again i told you i'm from pittsburgh pennsylvania so i know what the iron city is all about this is another really nice piece and what's this I think this is nothing yeah it's probably nothing but this isn't nothing this is something and so that's really cool we have found two really nice pieces back to back in this in this uh ravine let's keep looking around thanks Whew. okay we are in new mexico and yes i speak very good english from being from new mexico and we have plains in new mexico too and we have what could possibly be a piece of petrified wood, but now that I picked it up, it's looking less and less like one. Now we also have this, which is a really cool and unique looking piece of jasper. As you turn it over, it might need to be a little bit washed off, but this side is strange. It's got those unique kind of formations in there. Maybe it's just dirt, but I don't think so. It's kind of getting taken over by some kind of like a quartz and maybe they're just blending together or one's taking over for the other. Very unique. Let's take a look at this piece. It's a little different. It's black on this side and it looks like it has bark on this side. And I could be kind of wrong about that. But it definitely has a feel for it. It has the black interior, which would be common around here. Can you see all the micro crystals in there? 
Now see what happens when I spin it? They're still there. Whoops. It still looks barky. Can you still see them? This is a really unique piece again. You can see it's not quite the size of my fingers. But if you keep your eyes out, these kind of things will jump out at you. So let's keep looking. All right, let's take a look at this. These things always fascinate me again. It's just like a black agate. It's got some pink in it. It's got some red in it. But overall, it's just pretty much black. I think um, we're going to file it into the stay right here file. But if you wanted, if you think it was really interesting, let us know. This is not an agate hunt, but these are also kind of cool, and I just wanted to show it to you. See, that's what the insides look like. They're really smooth. And they're just a big agate. And I don't know, I, I, I think people, some people might cut these in half and stuff. I'm not really sure. But let me know. And, uh, because there's all kinds of these. Look, this one has like all kinds of quartz and pink and probably granity. And this is probably that moss agate right there. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's, um, they're out here, and sometimes we'll come across like 10 or 12 of these kind of things all together. Big tan ones, like I call cream soda ones. Big, just black ones. And um, moss agate looking ones like this. All different kinds. But anyway, I just wanted to give it, uh, show you all. Okay. We were off camera here, and I came across this little piece of wood. And look at how agatized this piece of wood has become now what made me stop at this piece of wood which is like got almost like a green inside of it it's not a vibrant green it's a dull green but it's a green it's like got a like a like a mossy feel to it i don't know how else to describe it it's really nice it's really smooth it's another one it's, it's, it's so smooth all right, we traveled over to the next valley over just because I like to look at, around. And to be honest with you, it hasn't been great so far. I just picked up a piece of obsidian. And now, look at this. We found this. It's another piece of palm wood. Very smooth on this side. Very fiber-esque on this side. Don't eat it. It's not good for your colon. It's just good to look at. Now, we're in the same spot. We've got a piece of obsidian. So our luck is gonna stay strong. Oh, wow, nice. So look at, okay. So look at the two big pieces of obsidian here that we've got. Let's keep these on our left palm. They're warm still. And here we go. Here's our third, well, treasure in a sense in this area. This is really, really smooth again. And I, you know, even before turning it, I could feel the bark. You couldn't see it, but I could feel it. And there you go. Look, can you see that red line? It's right there. It's real subtle. It's red. Real subtle pewter over here and otherwise carbonized. You thought I was going to say carbonated, didn't you? told you guys and gals and everybody else i told you <laughs> that having lucky obsidian warm in your hand brings you good luck we just found three pieces or something like that over there and look what's right here right here i'm gonna put the obsidian in the pocket for a minute and i'm gonna get my shadow out of the way we have found another another really nice piece look at you could see the you could see the little sparklies in here Oh, okay. It's rugged too. It's nice and rugged. It's got some red in it and it's got the carbon in it. It is just a beautiful piece. I am telling you, look at that. Can you see that? Is my shadow in the way? That is just ready to sit on anybody's desk. You can appreciate this from a distance or you can appreciate it up close. Not too far of a distance, you know. Uh, it's not going to look good behind a closed 
door, but you know, it's going to look good if you're in the same room with it. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. Yes. Let's keep going. Man, I don't know where we walked into. I think this is like Palm City over here, man. This is great. We've come across another piece. Extremely agatized piece of petrified wood. It's got a lot of red in it, a little bit of pewter. It's almost, you know, that pewter is almost like a cream color sometimes, more than it, than it is a pewter. It's a really nice piece of petrified wood, though, I can tell you that. Oh, it's got a little black in it, too. Very nice find. Let's keep going. Oh, wow. I don't want to scare it away. Look at that. Is this like another rock on top? Oh, it's on top of it. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, I'm not getting it out that easily. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. It just hasn't gotten there yet, but it's already in the classic position, right? <laughs> it is totally smooth, totally agatized, totally dirty. Look, it's got little holes in it. I don't think those are wormholes. Those are just time holes. Oh, there you go. I'll tell you, just a little bit of cleaning here, and you've got something. You've got red, you've got black, you've got bark. You've got probably a little bit of pewter running through there. And that bark in itself has got some like orange color in it too. And that's just the one side. And don't forget about this side. Really beautiful. This is just gorgeous. Let's keep looking. Um, we're kind of getting towards the end of our day. Again, we've got a 12 mile bike ride home and a hike out of here. Three of which is on dirt. So yeah, you get the idea. Are you ready for another piece? I am. And here it is. It's got yellow. It's got black. And if I can get the sparklies to happen just right, you're going to see some micro crystal quartz in there. I'm going to spin it for you all. Hey, you got to be honest. There's the other side, right? It's not all about the trophy side. But it's still a beautiful piece of petrified wood. Way to go. Alright, I'm about to cast my shadow over this piece. But it's kind of that time of day like I was saying earlier. Here we go. This is... <laughs> I don't understand how these things can get this smooth. It is just wonderfully smooth. It's black. It's got like this orange brown to it. And I don't know. It's about the size of my, just longer than my middle finger. And oh, there's some red. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. We're making our way back to the same tree. We have not gone very far from where we had lunch. And we're kind of making our way back there. We just did a big circle around it. We have gone nowhere that our plan from earlier was going to lead us so we still have that for future episodes All right, thankfully we parted the tumbleweeds. We're back at base 
and we've got our treasures, we've got our finds, lots of petrified wood today. I think we went back about 300, 400 million years, and we stayed there. Again, we didn't do our original plan, but you know what? Sometimes you got to go off plan to have a good day, and that's what we did. And uh, thanks again for joining us for episode four of Rock Hunting USA. We hope you join us for episode five. We'll see you later.